Is this a sort of pet project for you? Is it something you've been working yes. on for a long time? This is a pet project. That's exactly. No, I mean, insofar as it came completely from the heart, and it's clearly not, you know, motivated by financial greed. Um, uh, otherwise, there'd be somebody in leotard in it or something. So um, uh, it, this is a film without special effects. It's it's um, a, a human character story. And how did you get Fernando involved? Did he just kind of uh, get it in through his agent or was it sort of, did you pursue him? No, one of our American producers had worked with him on The Constant Gardener and he said, when he read the script, which he liked, and he said, oh, I'd love to show this to Fernando Morales. And I said, great. And, and he was due to make a Janis Joplin film, I think. And that, you know, to, to answer what you were saying about how difficult it is, even with a great actress and, and, and with Fernando attached, that film didn't get off the ground for one reason or another. And, and so he was suddenly free and he jumped into this, which was lovely. And he's sort of known for his kind of very loose um, style behind the camera. Um, I wondered if, if he encouraged input from both of yourselves, um, first of all, in the development process and then, you know... Oh, it's, it's entirely um, misleading how gentle Fernando is. He knows exactly what he wants, and he, he has this incredibly um, charming, like you said, loose approach, which lures everyone into a false sense of collaboration. He knows exactly what he wants, and, and, and actually it, everybody is just so delighted to be working with somebody like that. The idea of Fernando's looseness is deceptive because if you look at when you see 360, the the vision that he has, the transitions between scenes, the way he puts the story together, it make, he makes it look so easy. But actually, mm. there's an incredible amount of thought and detail that's gone into what he does. Is there a place for a writer on the set? Because you always hear that writers just sort of get in the way. There is if they are invited, and if the director, you know, some some directors don't forget are writers in their own right. So. Um, other directors like Stephen Frears or Ron Howard or Tom Hooper, who I've worked with, you know, they adore writers, and they want other directors that I've worked with, like Clint Eastwood, don't want the writers anywhere near the place. So, it is, a, you know, as a writer, you have to adjust yourself to the, you know, to the attitude, and you know, obviously, it's my preference to work with directors who love writers. How important then is a festival like this in terms of um, bringing attention to the film and, and getting out? It's vital. If you're, if you're operating in this area of making these kind of independent films, you, you absolutely need a festival like this as a showcase. And to have the opening night slots is even better for us. You know, it's the perfect place to be. So the eyes of the world are going to be upon you. Are you uh, nervous at all? Or? Well, it's the first time for me having an opening film. It's, it's Peter's third time. and He said it doesn't get any easier. No, it is pretty nerve-wracking. It's very exciting, and there's one half of you that's puffed up with pride, and the other half that's absolutely crapping yourself. Is there another part of you that's kind of sort of working away on something else, or the cogs turning on something else? Sure, 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 sure. Yeah, we're, we're, with Andrew, in fact, we're, we're working together on this uh, a story about the rivalry between James Hunt and Nicky Lauda, which Ron Howard is filming. So we start shooting that in February. So character stories about two extraordinary men and their rivalry, where the racing is a backdrop. The racing will be exciting and dynamic and thrilling, but. It's not, it's not, this is a backdrop to the main story. One last question. On 23, will any of your work be sort of surviving through the process? And I, I hear that my, uh, that an idea, that a sort of the central idea is still there, but not one similar thing other than that. So I think they've still kept the big hook, which I am not going to tell you. <laughs>